Hey fam, thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is, so let's just go and tap in with Spirit real quick. Get this tea for y'all. See what Spirit wants y'all to know who or what is coming towards y'all, things like that. See if we can possibly even get an outcome. Y'all, I'm hungry as hell. That's why I'm eating great. Anyway, thank y'all so much for being here with me. Rocking and rolling, subscribing, liking, commenting, possibly even sharing. I love y'all all so much. Y'all helping me grow, my channel grow, and I couldn't be more appreciative. I love all of y'all from the bottom of my heart. I hope everyone is having a beautiful morning, staying happy, happy, and safe wherever you are in this crazy ass world. And if you're not fam, give it a second. Hopefully that energy will shift because that's the intentions we setting right here. All right, y'all. See, y'all already know the messages here are general. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Also, anything you need to know about myself and my channel, it will be in the description box below, fam. Utilize it if you so choose to. There's absolutely no pressure at any time. And, of course, any music that you guys may happen to hear in the background, I own no rights to. I need to good. Anywho, let's get into this. Some of y'all out here... Um, it's like, you try your damnedest to be, you know, unapologetically you, right? But there's always some naysayer that got something to say about everything you do. The way you wear your hair, the makeup, the clothes, the way you talk, the way you walk. It's always something, you know what I'm saying? Spirit is saying, live your life unapologetically live your life for you live your life the way that you want to because you are on the right path here be authentically you with no apologies they don't spirit don't care who don't agree at this point it could be your mama your daddy grandmama granddaddy sister brother uncle cut i don't know but spirit is like whatever it is that's making you happy keep doing it Somebody like really like colorful shit. Somebody feel like you too old for that. Out of there. Somebody work for somebody. And they want to go off and start their own business. A lot of people like, what if this? Out of there. You like a certain person. Yeah, you have romantic feelings for this person. Other people around you, they don't see what you see in this person. They, they just want you to be with somebody else. Out of there. Right now, the only thing that matters, fam, is whatever is making you happy. It is your time. It is time for you to be authentically you. If these people cannot get with, get with it, they need to get gone. And those are words from spirit. I asked you her to get with the program. So some of y'all might be old school around here. But either way it go. If somebody, whoever, this, it, this could even be somebody in y'all family. I'm feeling strong family tired. So whomever this is, if they not serving your purpose or, you know, supportive of whatever it is you want to do, then that person is not for you. And that's something that a lot of us have to come to grips with. We love these people and everything. They our family, shit. They our friends. They might be even be our kids. Yeah, exactly what I was saying. We love them. We want to. We want them to share in our success. Every successful thing we do, we want to share with these people. Because yeah, what we love them. Victory and success. You want these people to be a part of your story. You do. But unfortunately, fam, everybody can't come with you. It just don't work like that. Every, all your blessings ain't meant for everybody. Some things are meant for you. Also, it's like somebody here. Look, it's a lot going on. Somebody don't smile a lot. Somebody wants you to change that. Somebody feel like somebody got resting bitch face. Oh, well, you're not a mean person. That's just the way you look. Got a very stoic look on your face. Like somebody, it's, it's just, it's a lot. It's like somebody got a problem with it. Yeah. Everything you do, the way you move, shit, walk, talk, shit, dress. 
it's just this is it's just people talking. Talking, 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 but I ain't saying shit. I'm hearing read between the lines. Yeah, it could be a Leo here. It's like whatever you doing and it's making you happy. Why in the hell would you care? It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. Exactly. Yeah, leave people out in the cold and focus on your happiness. Focus on your success. Focus on you, period. These people, it's like, I don't know if some, somebody here feel like they going to miss out on something. These people ain't in their life. Shit, don't seem like you gaining nothing with them in it either. Seem like you see as one person that car. Seem like to me you'll be better off without whoever this person or these people are. Shit, this could even be somebody that's in y'all you in a relationship with, and that's ridiculous. It's like somebody that you in a connection with. They got a problem with everything you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's time to cut that shit out. Even if this is your significant other, they no longer serve your purpose, your divine purpose, and it's time to let them go. Y'all know I can't tell y'all what to do, and I'm definitely not here to judge nobody. I'm just giving y'all the messages that spirit give them to me. It's just a it's time out for a whole lot of shit. Yeah, it's time to walk away from some shit. But it's like, I'm telling you, it feel like somebody feel like they walk away, they feel like they gonna miss something. I don't feel like you gonna miss shit. Feel like you walk away, you're going to be gaining a whole lot of stability, happiness, success. Mm -hmm. Let's get into this. Because y'all know I just sit up here and me and Spirit are just rambling and talk to y'all. I know y'all like when we read the card. Yeah, it could be an Aries here. It don't have to be, though. Aries, Virgo. Yeah, it's like, look. You don't have to conform or commit to anything but yourself. The way that you like doing things. The way you see things moving. How you want them to move forward. You orchestrate this. Not anyone else. Somebody here, it feel like they feel like they got some kind of authority over you or something like that. Yeah, look, judgment. It's a lot of judgment. You're being judged for a whole lot of shit here. Yeah, the nine of, nine of ones. Yeah, somebody here is around somebody that constantly criticizes them about a lot of shit. Yeah, the three of ones. So this person don't have to be like around you. This could even be somebody that's like at a, a physical distance from you. Yeah, it's like this person got a lot to say about everything you're doing. It's like something in you know that you should let this person go, move forward, move on. But you just keep going through this shit with this person. Yeah, look, the magician here. And then the knight of swords. Hmm. Yeah. I'm telling you. It's like something that you're really passionate about. I don't know what this is. But it's like you're starting to create your own... Uh, your own reality, you're moving forward. And it's like somebody see you going somewhere, they finna try to stop you. Mm -hmm. See, somebody got a lot to say about your life. It's like somebody trying to get in your head. Yeah, it could be a Scorpio here with the death card. Somebody finna try to stop you. It's like somebody can feel you about to release their ass. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Somebody knows that this is whatever this is, it's coming to an end. So it's like somebody finna try to play on your top collective. Just to get you to slow down here. It's like you this person don't want you to leave them behind. I'm here in 1331. So yeah, a lot of these could be your uh your your twins here. Don't have to be though. But it's like this person sees you moving into a better space, but I don't, it's like they don't want you to be that way. Something about you being hurt, feeling defeated or something like that benefits this person in some type of way here. Possibly because you allow this person to keep treating you like this. And they know that if you come into union with your actual self, that you're not going to allow this behavior anymore. So this person, it's like, experience that this person tries to keep you confused. But yeah, I feel like somebody here is manifesting their way out of here. 
-hmm. It's like somebody is overcoming all this shit. It's like maybe this had you like feeling like you couldn't move in the past. Like I said, somebody feel like if they left these people or this person, that was going to be missing out on something. You lying to yourself. You cheating yourself by staying around this person or these people who are actually trying to hold you back. Somebody sees that you're trying to create something here. And they, it's like they trying to talk. Somebody finna try to talk you out of this. It's just like they want to ruin what you got going on here. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody feel like you moving forward, you're leaving them behind. This may even be some of y'all. It's like some of y'all... At this, it's like some of y'all at this time could be your worst enemy because you feel you're, you're moving forward, you're doing things for yourself, but it's certain things here that you know you have to let go of, and that's like taking a toll on somebody. Yeah, somebody here knows that they actually it's something here that has something to do with somebody's kids. It's like maybe your kids are grown with kids, your kids don't they should have no opinion of your life, they have their own here, but it's like somebody here you still treat your kids like babies. Somebody kids to spoil the shit. Hell, the hell mine are too, y'all. So I ain't passing judgment on nobody. But these are grown kids. These are like older children. Yeah, somebody here could be an Aquarius. I had a star card. I'm trying to give it, get it up. Yeah, somebody could have a child that's like 17 years old. Y'all, this child could have a baby on the way. Y'all better talk to y'all kids. Or like I said, y'all kids have kids. But it's like somebody trying to find a balance between happiness and their children. That is not something that you're supposed to have to balance out, baby. Mm -hmm. Could be a Taurus here somewhere with the Hierophant right here. Oh, my goodness. Now, come on. Why does my cars just keep flying everywhere? Somebody here don't want y'all to move past them because they... It's like something about financial gain here. This person, uh, I don't know if this person live off you or live with you or you give this person money. I don't know what this is, but it's something about financial gain. And that's why somebody trying to keep you stuck. They don't want you to succeed in whatever this is because they know you're, they know you're, moving, into, you're moving into a whole different life. And this person don't know if they're going to be a part of it. Exactly. Queen of Swords. This person feels like you're you're about to cut them off if you haven't already. Whatever this is that you're working on, collective, uh, protected at all costs. I don't really feel like you should be talking to people about this. Um, Spirit is saying, let your work show for itself. So really, if somebody comes towards you angry about something, you don't even have to defend this situation. Because I'm feeling like whatever this is, your work or whatever, your character, it's going to speak for itself. But you got somebody wanting to rush in and possibly argue with you. Yeah. And this is possibly because you're just telling this person the honest to God truth. Yeah, it could be a Gemini here. This could be somebody that you're um, in a connection with, like a romantic connection. Don't have to be, though. Yeah, then we got the Wheel of Fortune here. It's like you telling somebody the absolute truth here, but they don't want to hear it. I don't know if you telling them the truth about their situation or what, but somebody here just wish you would be quiet. Somebody feel like you don't know what you're talking about for whomever this is resonating with. Somebody here, they it's just like they want you to leave out this love interest because they they feel like it ain't going nowhere. Their your your relationship is not anyone else's business except for the person that you're in the relationship with. Yeah, and then we got the nine of cup as well as the empress here. Some of y'all intuition been screaming at y'all to leave whomever these people or this person, place, or thing is out in the cold. They've been telling you for a while now that this person or whatever this is no longer serves you. Yeah, because this person here, it's like, 
If this is a lover, it's like this person is failing to make a decision about something. You, y'all's connection. Hell, it could be a third party here. And this person is playing you against another person. But it's like they, they don't want you to move past them. So they just pretty much telling you anything. It, okay, let's say you, you're out of a connection with this person, right? But this person, y'all still energetically tied. And you telling this person, you know, I met somebody else. You know, you know, swoop, 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 this. This is the type of person to be like, I don't even see why you're dealing with such and such. Because, uh, you know, such and such and such and such. And you can do better and all this other kind of shit. It is because this person don't want you to move past them. It has nothing to do with the person that's coming towards you or the person that you're, you know, in this connection with. It has something to do with this person still having feelings for you. Others of y'all, this is somebody that you're, you're a family member. If this is a love situation, this person has struggles in their own relationship. So they don't want you to be in a happy one either. So they're going to offer their two cents about what they think you should do about this situation at every cost. That's why spirit is like, use your own discernment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look, close out that shit. Make the, they want you to hush, you tell them to hush. Because it's like somebody here, I feel like a bragging about their love here. And somebody here was wishing bad up on you. So if all of a sudden, you know, your relationship good, you know, you giving this person all kind of praise and everything and somebody sees it or hears it or something like that spirit that is way too many somebody here wished bad up on you and that could be the reason why you're going through these uh burdens i'm hearing trials and tribulations with this person that you're with right now so that's what that's another thing what we was like uh keep your mouth closed yeah anything good collective right now just don't speak about it because you got a lot of people who don't want to see your ass make it I don't know if this is love, life, work, whatever. These people do not want to see your ass make it. They don't want to see you happy because they're not happy. Yeah, tower. These people right here, they want to cause all kind of chaos in whatever situation this is. Also, y'all, I don't know where you are in the world, but be very, very mindful of the weather switching quickly. I'm talking about causing all kind of destruction here. I don't know what is going on. It's like at one, one minute it's going one way and then the next minute it's going another way. Yeah, look, we got the Ten of Pentacles and then the Hierophant. And somebody here is trying to ruin your 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 connection, your 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 family, your marriage. And this is all by like just wishing bad up on you because they see that you're doing good. Somebody's watching y'all do good, watching you possibly be happy and they can't stand it. No matter what this is, whatever it is you're committed to, like I said, this could be a, a business here. Just saw the, the Empress, so it could be an Aries. We got Aries, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. Yeah, whatever this is, yeah, somebody here is possibly trying to convince y'all that somebody y'all dealing with is a player. And you like, I don't know that person to be that. I only know this person to be this, and somebody else is trying to put some shit into your head. Yeah, we got the page of one. That's what I'm saying. Word of mouth. You see what I'm saying? And it's like these people are doing this like, girl, you know, I saw such and such and such. And some people can't wait to come back and bring you this news because they feeling like, okay, this is good news for them. But the thing is, this person that you with or whomever this is, this possible Aries, baby daddy, father figure, whomever he is, I see that this person is good for you. It's just people hating on y'all. They see how much this person loves you, how much this person focused on you, everything. Yeah, some of y'all could be dealing with the Libra. Somebody here is just really, really focused on ruining y'all's connection. Or ruin whatever it is that, that brings you peace and balance. Yeah. Whatever, however it is that you express yourself creative, cre creatively. Creatively, these people want to, you can't make it up. Especially if it's something you do to make money. These people want to see, they want to see it fail. Damn, that's messed up. So yeah, somebody is definitely wishing. It's just like somebody, you're not doing what they want you to do. Or you're not doing things how they would have done things. Or you know what I'm saying? You're not moving at the beat of their drum. So it's just like, nah, you're not supposed to be doing this. Yes. Hold on, y'all. Okay, collective. Sorry about that, fam. Yeah, but it's just like you're not doing what they want you to do. 
These people are actually, yeah, look, some of these people, if this is a connection, these people are in their head trying to ruin this because they know that it's leading to marriage. And these people don't have a chance in hell at that. Yeah, it could be a cancer here. These people don't have a chance in hell at that. You do. Somebody here could have left them and their kids or something like that. Well, your, your baby daddy or something still around. I'm not sure. Y'all give me just a second. I'm going to check this stuff in the air fryer. Okay, fam, sorry about that. Oh, my goodness. Did somebody just come back through my door, y'all? Mm -hmm. What is it, Trey? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hold on, y'all. Damn. Y'all, I swear that little boy of mine, but I love him anyway. Yeah, some of these people, I'm telling you, it's like they don't have a chance at marriage or a happy family or owning their own business or, you know, these people just don't even have the courage to authentically be themselves. So they want to dim your damn light. No, these, some of these people, they would lie, cheat, steal, kill to keep your ass from leaving them behind. As long as you're right there in the same position that they are, they're comfortable. Hell, they can evolve past you, but you can't evolve past them. That's the energy that's out here. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. 2112. Unfortunately, some of these are people that y'all are in connection with. These are your twins. This person right here has a real fear of you moving past them or doing better than them or something like this. This person got a fear of you leaving them out in the cold. Mm, mm, mm. That is so crazy. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm so sick of this. All day long. All damn day long. My car has just been flying everywhere. I'm talking about everywhere. Whomever you are, please stop throwing my damn car. Holy shit, you don't run this situation. Why does this person feel this way, though? Is it jealousy or is it really fear? Like, Because it's feeling like a mixture of both of them. King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm. They're just used to how things are between y'all. It's like somebody just don't want things to change. For real. Somebody here feels like things are fine the way that they are and they shouldn't have to change. Yeah, look. <laughs> the four of cups and the page of cups. Somebody here is feeling like, I'm telling you, if you, if you get whatever this position is, um... It's something here about moving up, structure, professionalism. It's something that y'all are doing, like starting your own business. Somebody here is doing something, and this person feels like once you do that, then their, their chances with you are out of the window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all have people that admire y'all. You know, you are a reader, you're a psychic, something like this. I don't know if your following is picking up or it's something here that y'all are doing that is propelling y'all. And this person, yeah, some of y'all are starting your own. I'm, I'm feeling like some type of tarot business or something like that, some type of spiritual business. This person knows that it's going to be successful because even they know that your intuition is on point, whomever this is resonating with. This person is actually afraid that you're going to turn your back on them. So it's like this person don't want, really want you to move forward. Hmm. Yeah, somebody here could really be acting like they're happy for you, but deep down, your success is a burden for this person. That's in love, life, whatever. Yeah, work. Your success for anyone at this point is a burden. Not anyone, but whomever this is in this energy. Yeah, it's like whatever you're doing, you're putting your all into this. Somebody sees that you're very dedicated to this. Like, this ain't something you just doing for play play. This is something that you want to actually, you know, master your craft. Somebody sees that you're very concentrated on this and it's scaring them. Yeah, that's possibly why this person is being really negative, starting all kind of conflict with you, arguments. You're like, why are we arguing? All I'm trying to do is talk to you. That is why this person is afraid of you leaving them. Yeah, look, they love you. They feel like you're their soulmate. They want to work with you. But they also feel like you're you're interested in working with someone else. I'm hearing someone more on your level. Hmm. This is craziness. 
Yeah. Empress, it's like you're healing, and your healing is like turning somebody to shreds. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You're getting all these brand new opportunities. You're moving up. Whatever it is you're doing, it's, uh, it's increasing. Increase, increase, increase on your end. I don't feel like this person is feeling like enough. They feel like, I'm um, see, they feel like you want somebody else, but even if this is a friend, they feel like, yeah, but they feel like you just going to leave them behind. They're, they fear this. They're stressed. They're very anxious about you leaving them behind. Yeah, some of y'all tell you, she's y'all divine masculine. He's afraid. Yeah, that's why he's acting like this. Acting very negative, very passive, arrogant. Some of them are being very aggressive. It's because he's afraid or she's afraid or whomever is afraid of your new beginning and them not being a part of it. But I mean, that ain't no excuse for trying to hold you back. At this time, collective, no matter what other people are feeling, whatever is best for you. I know it sounds kind of selfish, but whatever is best for you.